So got four stacked up. The spy cam gonna give away all the information. The hit's gonna come through on the back of that. Flash is good. Nice. Ambient's gonna mess up his dash a little bit. Leaves him a little exposed and he will get punished for it. Yeah, nice work between the Sky and the Jet. But look at these rotations. Giants are here in droves, but they are losing numbers. Patino's still waiting on the other side of that. We do have a little bit of a crossfire. And again, the wall can be a double-edged sword to an extent. It kind of funnels you forward. It's hit down 33 HP. Dips back away. Doesn't give away the game, which is more surprising than anything. And I'm sure Temptation calling. Yeah. Spy camp. Gonna catch the edge of the player models here. She's just going to throw down the default wall to cross towards Pillar, but Hoodie will carve a hole in it. Cage triggered. Nobody else actually gets it. Actually, the one way comes into effect. Now, Meadow can't actually convert a kill off it. I'm surprised. I thought that was, you know, teed up, but Fatinio with a lovely two piece can at least collect those. Meadow, terrible positioning from him, just no man's land. That swing coming out from the back of the site was always going to be a problem, and now a 3v2 presented. Fries trying to worm his way around. This could be the difference maker. It could. Maybe. The timing again! Oh, no. Trying to dip towards CT, biting off more than he could chew. We have Luzza trying to play this out. Spectre wall now gone. Every you know, Hoodie doesn't even have it. Apologies. Yeah, how that's actually going to affect. But on the oh. back of the showstopper, Luzza absolutely smacks Fratinho out of the air. That was didn't just even get a shot. water in hand. No, not even a second in this catch. Uh, you could see the patience, consideration of a second, and there was, but David P outdoes him eventually. But the player advantage is in place, but Meadow this time sitting towards A. We saw him before on towards B. The paranoia coming through, and look at that. Reveals just enough information. Still able to buy time, and he buy one their life. But at this point, it's a 3v1. David P succeeded towards middle, but he's going to need another step. Fry first challenge, passes the test. Look to see what Giants are going to give away, but did we spread that thin and still have Luzza go out hunting? You actually hear the dash up on the back of the paranoia here, but nothing to come of it. Man be posted up with his operator. Actually, a, a little ahead of the wall there, yeah. It's a the drive beacon. So they're still going to try and get it done. I love that adjust from Ambi though, still playing off the back of the smoke that went down, finds Luzza, readjust towards the backside of Pillar, and Ambi is just putting on a show right now. The sport's there for Giants, and I get why people... That B side, that's, that's a freebie. That's an absolute freebie. He has so much room to work with, and again, Ambi not overcooking it, didn't go overly aggressive, but just played it so well. And now adjust towards Heaven, if they re-aggress, he still has the potential to fall back, he hasn't exerted anything. Beyond belief yet, there's the full back away. Tom trying to catch him on this one, but they don't check it. They thought he maybe fell towards side. The flash kind of gave them a bit of a misread on it. And Meadow waiting down below. He's waiting to see any pixel appear, but he tries to dip in towards the old, does get caught on the way through it. Now we're down to the 4v3. This is a good potential still for the Giants here. And a really awkward Viper's bit to deal with here. It's half in heaven, half down towards sight. Hey, with P now considering the TP for info potentially. I still with a man advantage here though in the retake. <laughs> Luzza. Stunner of a shot, but it's a quick trade out for Fatino, and now we're gonna have what the 2v2. Fry still playing this really unique ultimate, but I guess it works well with that spike plant. Mickey boy. Last oh, no, he's just lost standing. vision and he gets it back at the worst time possible. They can't clear Fry! This is filthy work from Fry. He Whoop. does lose out to David P. Spiraling. Yeah, yeah. Or recovery hit soon. The double face, double drop. Nice work. Tino's still there, though. And he's actually willing to refight on that. Didn't fully back away. Yeah, he dipped out a little bit. He wasn't giving up for free, but now he's feeling the pressure. Fry undone, though. The timing works well for the Giants here, but the punishment's still coming in. This isn't over. What? what? <gasps> Tom? Mark? Am I not intimidating enough? Ooh, that's an intimidating shot, but how do you find the next player? We can see the position. He has no idea. He's posted it. And maybe oh. he's going to assume that's clear. That's the next problem, though. He just works right under the, the assumption. Well. You're not going to give away the game. <gasps> Tom. Maybe you leave. And give him the freedom to be able to try and hit that support position from Pillar. But, you know, oh, my, what, he does still get one. I thought he might have been found there by Tom Quicker, but Ambi now noted, too. He's not going to get away completely free this time. Oh, that smoke's still there, trying to make the play dips in towards the smoke. He predicts Tom's left. play to perfection. Eight seconds now. The clock's beginning to tick. Hoodie tries to lean on through, but Ludders has got his number. And now we look at what's left. Planted. Just Meadow in a 1v3. Yeah, we're all going to come down on Elbow and...
Ricks are able to set up Blade Storm still online, got the reset there on the final. Slight and the retakes have been actually brutal. They haven't been able to pull off too many of these so far. So let's see what the post plan looks like from Ricks GG. Oh, we're going TikToky here. Just wall again. It's, it's the so renegade. difficult to deal with. It's <laughs> so difficult to deal with. Because look at this position as well. Mickey Boy actually has first contact here. Luzza is actually tucked a little deeper. Dude. Now, you put on top of that, there's an operator. The no! Okay. Right, thank God for that. Dinio oh. having to go... Oh, some magic here if he wants to bring it back. Tom, make it... <gasps> Fatinio, let's do it. Let's go 1v1. Oh. Okay. I don't know he's sent out earlier. Fatinio going to get up on top, but... Absolutely chipped away. Latex going to find that one and be traded. Mickey Boy under a lot of pressure Ooh. now. Finished. He <gasps> finds Tom. that one. Tom will respond though. Come to a 3v3. Big man Tom there. Keeping this one at least in hand. That could have spiraled it. You know, a 4v3 and a post pawn on pistols gets... You know, that additional man can make so much of a difference. But David P waiting patiently in case they crest that corner. And look, the classic, that, that right click. It's, it's nastiness. David P showing off now. Going to find Tom. But Luzza in a tricky position. He just noted two players there. Does get himself across by Pillar. Spotting two towards the back by that sign. And they're not getting those dinks. They're not getting the tags that they want here to create that next step forward. None of these are easy kills. The spike yet to go down. Spike down. At this, yeah, this point, is Luzza's in denied it. I really thought the spike was down for a second. They've allowed so much time on this. The double face. Okay, Meadow's got Fry. But look at the HP left here. Meadow is the walking wounded but being crept up on. You're going to see David P just make his guest appearance. Does keep... Blowing approach initially, I see. Not for long. It's, burst, yeah. it's, just, it's just a burst on... Not even... Con Fatinio's on this... the same side of the site as Fry. Somehow he's just absolutely whipped around the world there. And look, I was given a lot of, you know, I guess props to... I think it was Luzza who was able to get, you know, that kind of gap closing ability. Fatinio's like... <laughs> Wait to see what I can do. Um, at this point, already forcing him into post plant, it in. brings these specters, all these kind of slightly yeah. weak, weak weapons into absolute perfect range for it. Luzzo just trying to spam away, get any connection he can. Nothing going to be given for free, but Fatinio waiting at the back of the site. Smoke goes in, and Meadow still holds. No one's breached around. Now they do, and they go down for it. Luzzo going to lose life. Meadow's in danger, though. He's trying to play this out as best he can, do anything he can do to find value. But Tom is doing so much work for Rick's GG, but David P finding the perfect time. And now the 1v1. Halfway now achieved. Through an, and again, super aware of that next potential angle, but the problem is that Luz has still got it. Pulls the trigger perfectly, gonna fall away, and Hoodie's lost life. Now, Mickey Boy wants in towards middle, but spot Tricky spots, actually, all very complimentary as well. Again, okay. last piece comes soon. Latex actually will show his hand. Luzza responds as well. Time now. Have to find it. He will do just that. David P, the last man standing, and this B site hit once again <gasps> from Giants. Uh, I guess shut down, but David P will respond with one at least. Oh no! Make that too. He's creating a bit of space, but they're both towards CT. He Ooh. hasn't got time for this. He knows yeah. it. Four seconds. He's run out of that steam, but give him, I'd say, 10 more seconds. 15. I would have been... Take away a couple of tools in the next. Oh! <laughs> speed round taking out a couple of tools. Fidinho's down and out. Oh, Ambi's made up for it, at least, towards Latex, but they still know that there's one player around. Ambi is doing so much damage here, still being such a huge point of leverage for them to keep control. Trying to hold on, clutching at straws. Tom trying to find his way back in. Not going to find a comfortable way through just yet. Spike is with Omen. It's with David P. Maybe this is a second bite at the cherry we were asking for. Just a couple more seconds. And do you dare peek it? Would you dare? When's that flashback up for Tom so he can check if anyone's still around? This is going to be a horrible round to deal with because, as I said, if he just shows a little bit, steps a little bit, makes a little bit of noise... Let's go keep him there. Yeah, Fry's got a bit of presence to be had, sure, but he's still worried about mid potential. They haven't seen enough of David P, and he's got that TP regardless. Indeed, Nasty David P potentially can come across and put a spanner in the works here. I'm sure, really, he's if yeah, if he gives away this audio cue, and Fry also reveals his position. Left. He's actually going to commit to the plant. That's that's interesting here. Ambi will respond elsewhere. This is oh, huge now. Is. David P's managed to slip through, get himself onto rafters. Tom now on a 1v2. This has been the perfectly played out. Ranger, you can run into stacks, which they're not really here. Um, 
but this is where problems can begin, right? That's an op now left loose, and that's Tom. Tom let loose. Huge shots from him, now time being bought. 14 seconds, keep your eye on that clock, because here comes the flash. Sets him up, but Hoodie takes matters to his own hands. Oh, a miss from Tom, he needed it. Still a flash to be played with, could give himself the angle. Brave on the cross and Hoodie on the site, too towards the site. Rifle now recovered. Felt the timing. Counter three. Pull the trigger. No. David P's got him, but Fry found Hoodie. Position noted, though, but where's the other player? Fry had a feeling, but look at these one one positions. Isolate no one. Way. Fry, that could have been him. Put themselves on map point here. Well, the revive available in neural theft as well. Rick's TG with everything but the blade storm. Now, the flash revealed nothing, so this actually might make Mickey Boy a little overconfident. Yeah, it is. The flash didn't oh, quite crest the corner in the right time. Now, the dash towards the site from Ambi, and things are looking dire. Fry's at least found one, isolated the player towards the site. He's doing the best he can to work these boys down, open up that wall. Res comes out, they know there's more. The Seekers are there, everyone knows this is going to be that BP. Can they do anything to deny it? Fry, you brave boy, takes down Ambi. Three bodies, at least, on the other side of it. Meadow, though, he digs him out. Was that the pinhead approach? I think it was. Unhittable. Just unhittable it, without that hat. Zero reg. Here. Zero. Hitbox gone. You can't do anything about it. They've taken heaven control. This is still going to be a nasty left. B pinch if they want it. They've got 30 seconds and three to find. One towards CT. They could find the fight cleanly on CT. They can navigate around Fry. No way. It looks like they're doing it. They're walking CT right now. It's the best chance they have. If they go maybe through heaven, they know someone's going to be watching it. You don't expect the CT push. You've got 10 seconds. They're going to have to go soon. 10 seconds 10. left. They've got to get a move on. Latex waits, but Hoodie reveals. Now the site's open, available for the spike plant. Fry can't deny it. He's stuck in that hole. And it's that double-edged sword. It's going to come back to bite him this time. And now it's just two. Tom and Fry. Try and the hold timing. on to this. Oh, he can't quite get it. Hoodie's put him down in a dirty way. And now Tom, 1v4, beckoning. Hard angles to clear. And a hard... It's over, too. This is very... Does that boom bot just get absolutely cracked? Like, am I... Did I missee that or something? It looked like it just absolutely went beast mode. But it, it hit the it Tokyo is... Drift. <laughs> it is just two left now. I mean, what's KO got to work with this? Fry is coming back in as well. Right here. And beat. Probably the first sort of contact. And I uh, don't know how many that hit. Probably maybe one max two if the Killjoy was within one range. And Ambi's remaining. timing not good enough. Tom's going to find Ambi, but the trade comes in and there's a shutdown. Giants make side. They've had two stacks in the right place. This time they are well equipped though. Getting ready for that KO knife potentially, but in we go. Patino's going to lead the way. Oh, that's. He has oh just taken the site by storm. It's all his. Picks up Luzza, picks up Tom. It's all done. And now Hoodie, yeah, spots out one towards the back of the tube, but what's that going to do? Mickey Boys. We're just trying to bow out here, like, come on, boys, let's go. I don't, I don't want any more. That was that again. This hit, Fatinho has picked this response. If we can predict this next adaptation, hopefully the players can as well. So there's the flash. Tom was not blinded by it, really. Fry with the follow up. That's lovely work. Keep it in control of the extremity. For the first time, we haven't seen an all in piece. Hey. It's been three two splits. I'm going to lean this guy back away, maybe feeling that you know, that could be read into. This is mind games are going back and forth, and also. Yeah, we have been seeing those 3-2 splits. Timing is not favorable. Fatinho's found the... <gasps> Laza, you are so quick. And we know how good Fatinho's been at closing that gap, getting in their faces. Now Latex kind of, I guess, pinned back towards CT. And Laza just patrolling, guarding, holding this cross, trying to be forced away from it. Sees another, can't find it, though, that time. Now falls away. It's down to just one. Ambi called upon a 1v4. Not easy. He's got the site to play with, but no spike down. Sit in those post plants. Get deep towards it because you cannot play towards CT. They're going to be quick on this rotation. Latex is there. They heard the TP. They know exactly what was going on. Flash going to come through, but Patino holding close enough. For it. I don't think he's actually going to be affected by this. First comes through. Patino finds two on the way out here. Holding down the four. Opposite of the paint shell, and that will be the end of him. But the damage done, high pockets, two of them left. David, 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 we've had a mare, we've had an absolute mm. mare. Half what he's in the fuse. You've got to swing it. Meadow's done really well to find Mickey Boy, and now Fry's feeling a little silly, a little out of sorts. He thought he had David P. Well, he thought he might have had the round. Rick's GG could be reminded. This attacking side dealing with these 3 2 splits. Lozard did. Well, they had that shower set up before that worked for them, but Lozard this time does get the pick towards Hoodie. That's a good collection of it. Trying to clear towards the elbow, and this time though, Fatinho's made it on the side, but Latex finds him. Just as his feet plant towards the back of it now already. There's a play through this moment. Mickey Boy wants in. He's going to get it, and he's going to take down Meadow with him. And he's trying to hunt that player just stuck towards the side, but he doesn't get it. Ambi. Still going to pull this to a 2v3. 
Bold feeling brave. it up. Try and hold this angle onto elbow. Uh, um, now it's going to be difficult here. Ambi's got to be very careful. Standing ahead. Ten seconds left. Right up and over. Oh, thank. Flash comes in. Tom plays it really very well. And it goes out, buys him a bit of time, and. Perfect shutdown thus far from Rick's GG, holding every perfect combination. Lovely stuff from Tom. Getting to see how he looks on this KO. It looks good, yeah. <laughs> now I have a little bit more of a challenge for the Duke Seekers to move through, so I'll bring my boys up. We're feeling so good for Team Neo. Slow down, but Meadow is, and neither is Hoodie, and they finally break him back in. Rick's GG, Corrin gets set in their ways. They can't feel comfortable yet. Mickey Boy just on the other side of that. He's slowed planted. down, unable to make his way through. Great adjustment. Actually, from Giants out, much, much quicker of a hit. On the back of really just a... Uh, showstopper and Seekers in in tandem. Now they have themselves a, a five-man post-plant with the Hunter's Fury. GG go next. Feels like it. Maybe they got other plans. Last player standing. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's no way through. Barricades up. Walls come down. Icky boy's literally getting the firing squad around the corner. Oh, Meadow's got him. Safety in, I guess, knowing that's down. Tom forced to respect it. He can't do much more than fall away now. Spike is down. And Rick's GG presented with a tough retake here. Oh. Well, made it worse. Yeah, instantly, actually. Oh, they've lost down both of their flashes, both ways to maybe crack back in here, Hoodie. Just confirming, yep, yeah, more towards CT. They're still there, don't worry. And an operator as well, which is a, a huge burden at this point. Enemy remaining. Yeah, and they're actually going to look to punish it. Or are going to try and <laughs> it's hang on to it for dear life here, but Fatinho, David P, and Ambi all chasing him down. Gets the first. Whiff on the second. Live! Nah, Actually, gonna get it on to control our sense. He doesn't yeah, need to force no. the issue here. The orbital strike actually gonna be the one to. Uh, uh, that is absolutely perfect. No risk nice. whatsoever. No, none. And now Fatinio is gonna just expand upon that. Start exploring a little further. Finds latex in between a rock and a hard place. But Mickey Boy's at least dealt with the threat coming in through Hooker. Now they're gonna adjust quickly. But look at this. They're already predicting this. You already have Tom over here. You have Kjo over here. I'm still waiting to see if Tom's got everything yet. Okay, so he's gonna pop the ult as well. So that's even better. They have so limited options. Fry gonna pop that down. And now everything's just been put into place. Ten seconds. How are you gonna break into this one? Tom's holding this like an absolute. Got to game, the finds two. Approach in, knowing the prize on the other side. Here's the steps, the jump is nasty. Code trying to depend on that right click, but away we go, and around we go. TP taken, but this time from the defensive side, of course. Trying to play it back through, but look at the flank coming in. Look at what's going to be happening if maybe Meadow can do something about this cause of problem. Fatinho still is going to be a nuisance time. Oh, Fry, you get it right. A little deeper. Smoke. <gasps> Wait, he's got one. Excuse Fry? me, Fry? Do you know somebody, something I don't? Somebody check him, PC. I mean, I guess, you know, you combine some of the information he was fed, sure, but brilliant work from him. Maybe just feeling something was afoot, something was off, left. something was up. And that could be a game changer. It's finally a little bit of a moment for them to find the room, but there's still two players now on towards this side. There could be a flash through heaven any second now, but Meadow's got the coolest task. He's already, there's the flash, there's the Perfect. peak, there's the pick. The combination, the timing could not be better. 13 seconds now, there's problems galore. Meadows adjusted already towards you all. There's the Seekers going out, they know where they are, and the visions can be removed. Meadow catching it, the flash again! Ambi's got his back, and now it's down to Tom, and it's down to Jeff. Heaven's his, he's got it. He put the knife down towards the site, spots out Meadow again. Ambi on the swing, though, pulling the attention both ways, but Luzza keeps them humble, keeps them back. Ambi does the best he can lose too much HP for it, is gonna have to kind of respect this. Flash goes in to buy him a bit of time if needed, force them from a quicker push. Dino double dips on the man so body even took down the flash with him by almost, I guess, combination with Latex, both shooting in a similar way, but either really walking away alive. Now Fry gonna just lean forward towards the side, Trey comes in again, this is blow for blow, a 3v3, and there's the Seekers going down, and Meadow, the timing could work out well, he's gonna isolate Tommy, needs another though, doesn't get it, falls away, this is life.
This is big. To keep this man advantage here, Hoodie can heal him up. Mickey Boy actually gonna try and slip through elbow. I've got no way he gets to backstab this. Yes, he does. Meadow went to check it, but... Mickey Boy lands the shots. Luzza will respond as well. Hoodie falls. David B in the 1v2. These Rishi Jean potentially can just reset fully here onto shore. It'd be very difficult for Giants to pressure this. Okay, Luzza forced to play forward. Still finds... Oh, I don't want to say safety in the smoke, but this might spur on a bit of naughtiness as well. David P just around that corner, one in heaven, three towards U Hall. Gets the first, the adjustment's a little sloppy, but Hoodie's anything but sharp as ever. Two big connections. Mickey Boy's still going to hold this down, though. Keep in mind, he was great in that post part before. He might need some of that again, but Hoodie has found three out of nowhere. And now he finally gets denied, finally put to bed by Fry. And Meadow is going to have the same sort of impact here. A good bit of damage. Unrecovered. Latex, the only man here to defend it, and this is the spike, Lauren. This is a huge kill if they can find it. Latex will find the first. Hoodie falls. Meadow and David Pete. Oh, no, what? he's going to catch him in the smoke. What? Spike down A. Uh, if you think there's one, there's got to be others, right? Like, surely, I, I'm surprised they didn't just sit on a swivel as soon as they saw that. Like, why is a sky run. just walked short? KJ Alt's going to do absolutely nothing to really dissuade this as it stands. Maybe, oh, they, they almost kind of consider rotation, I guess. It puts a lot more pressure on Meadow, who's got three plays on the side, but they don't seem to know he's there. Couldn't quite get that adjustment back towards Mickey Boy, but good damage already is found towards one, bring it to the 3v3. Plant not down now is, so time ticking favorably. As Tom will stick towards you Hall. Try and keep that presence. Flashback. That's got all to do here on the retake. <laughs> I'm just going to slow things down with that flash initially. Maybe we're going to open things up though. Fatinho will find the second. Fry now. Last man standing. No utility left here. So, going to take a dry 1v2. He's going to find the first. He can't readjust for the second. Ambi. Yep. We'll slow them on their entry at least here. Meadow actually has the lockdown to complement that as well. So, lots of stall available to get this rotation all the way through here. Rick's actually going to challenge the lockdown, but a little bit of an overstep there, Lauren. Yeah, look at it. It's falling apart for them. How has this happened? Oh, gosh, and again. Force forward, nothing more. to eight. Big denial as well. Quick push, David P. Oh, God, hunted down. Just caught in the back, but Hoodie with the hole is going to find two. He's got Ambi by his side. It's a shutdown. And you can't quite get the flush. That's a PUBG term I didn't expect you saying Valorant. Mm. But Mickey Boy now has to face the music. We're on 12 already and... On the side of Luzza. David P actually won off the orbital strike as well. Fatinho was noted there. Has to give away the game. Oh, the pressure. Luzza, Luzza, Luzza's made a meal of it. Luzza's um, made a meal of it. Oh, he actions. Oh, you... That's heartbreaking. Kicking yourself. But still, they still have a favorable, at least, fight for now towards B. Blinded. For now. Not for long, coming in. It's buying time. Rotation's on route. There's the isolation as well. Hoodie going to take down Tom. No trade available. Smoke was already in towards Hooker. They couldn't do anything about it. They couldn't trade back through. And now they have no step. They have no entryway into this. Hoodie's re-aggressed towards God, and he's taken back the space they once had. Fry definitely not going to check this. No, good for one. Traded out, but a 2v4 presented here for Rick's GG. Ambi, David P here to hold down. David P looks like he's just posted with the orbital strike on the back of this information. Probably going to pop it. He will do just that. Lots of damage done. Latex, last man standing. See what you got, Latex. Give it everything you got. That's one, the trade.